Hi everyone, it's time once again to delve into an exciting piece of paleontological news, as a very interesting and extremely cool new dinosaur has just been described from the Atlas Mountain. No, no Atlas Mountains, not Atlas Moth. Sorry about that everyone, the Atlas Mountains in Morocco. The El Mers group of limestone-dominated rock formations, which is exposed in the Atlas Mountains, dates back to the Middle Jurassic, and has recently yielded some very weird material already in the form of the spiky-ribbed ankylosaur Spicomelus, as well as another stegosaur called Adraticlid. These rocks also contain the remains of sauropods, and some footprints from stegosaurs, sauropods, and some as yet still mystery theropods. Well, just a few days ago, yet another stegosaur genus was just described from these rocks, and this is a very, very weird one. So, let's dive into the study describing this oddity, the oddity known as Thyreosaurus. Atlassicus. Thyreosaurus was described by Omar Zafati, a PhD student in earth science at the University of Hassan II of Casablanca, and colleagues in this past week in a paper in the journal Gondwana Research. Omar Zafati and his co-authors Mostafa Okasu and Saad Bendirua found the remains in 2021, at a site located just north of the Bulafa Quarry, and gradually collected the remains over a period of several trips. The remains were dug up from the Elmers III formation within the Elmers group, which is made up of freshwater calcareous silts with lots of fossilized wood in them. The skeleton of Thyreosaurus contains 9 dorsal vertebrae, 21 dorsal ribs, of which 3 are nearly complete and the rest are just kind of broken into bits, a limb bone of some kind, the authors weren't actually quite sure which limb bone it was, and most interestingly of all, dermal armour, or osteoderms. These are pieces of bone which were embedded into the animal's skin, much like the scoots of crocodilians. Why do I say that the armour of this dinosaur is its most interesting feature? Well, as you probably know, in most stegosaurs, osteoderms take the shape of a series of plates or spikes running along the animal's back, sometimes with another spike on its side, and with a bunch of very intimidating spikes at the end of the tail, nicknamed the Thagomizer. But the osteoderms preserved on Thyreosaurus are nothing like that at all. The six pieces of dermal armour found on this skeleton are curved, with the outside of the curve being smooth, albeit kind of wavy, and the inside being very rough and having a texture that indicates it's connected via attachment fibres. So these are very much not your standard sticky up stegosaur plates or spikes. Instead, these were much more like the flat-lying armour that we see on ankylosaurs. That said, we don't know if these evolutionarily are an independently evolved feature, or if these are modified plates that evolved to become more sort of flat along the body and act more as armour. So, we don't know for sure if Thyreosaurus had plates or spikes on its back and armour, or if it just had this armour in place of where those plates or spikes would have been. So, whilst very little art of this fella exists as yet, it's already being drawn in a ton of different ways by wonderful creative paleo artists, using this fossil as a basis. Hopefully one day soon, we will get a better idea of how it actually looked. Anyway, when the authors put all of the data from the proportions of the skeleton through a phylogenetic software to find out who it was most closely related to, they found that Thyreosaurus belonged to a lineage of stegosaurs called the Decentrurines, 
being most closely related to the aforementioned Atra Ticlet, which lived nearby and lived around the same time. It's also very closely related to the European genera Decentrurus and Miragaya. That means that it's more closely related to all of these species than it is, interestingly, to any of the other African stegosaurs, like the iconic Kentrosaurus, which is younger than Thyreosaurus, but more primitive evolutionarily than the Decentrurines. This is really interesting, because it tells us that stegosaurs diversified into a myriad of forms very early in their evolution in the mid-Jurassic. I hope you found this video interesting, and I hope you enjoyed it. The next one will have nothing to do with paleontology whatsoever, but I think you'll enjoy the next video too. Speaking of enjoyment, if you did like this video and want to see more like it, please show your appreciation by liking, subscribing, dinging the little bell, and remember that you can join my Patreon or donate via Ko-fi to support my ability to keep making fun, educational, and silly and interesting videos about our planet and the science around it. Thanks go out to my wonderful Radiolarian tier patrons, Jean and Eric Feenstra. You guys are awesome for still supporting the channel like you do. It's very much appreciated. Here's a little sneak peek at some art I'm working on for a video I'm planning about the Albertosaurine Tyrannosaurids, though it will probably be quite a considerable amount of time till that video is out. In the meantime, I have lots of videos planned, and I hope you enjoy all that's coming out. Cheerio!